Yo, what is going on YouTube? What's going on everybody, man? Welcome back to the channel. How are you guys doing out there today, man? Today we're diving into the Everly Brothers Bye Bye Love, all right? We've been taking our little dive with the Everly Brothers here and there, man. And today, this is what we stumbled upon. So we're going to dive in, see what's happening right here. I think my last song I did was... um. It was Wake Up Little Susie, um, and I really liked where we went with that song. It was the innocence of love, man. These guy, uh, guy and girl couple, they went out to see a movie, promised to have the daughter home by a certain time. They fell asleep at the drive-in and were like, oh my God, they're going to kill us. It's like three in the morning. Uh, we're late. So like Everybody's going to be talking about us. The town's going to be assuming what we've done. And finding out, really, the, the shocker of that song was finding out that it was banned on the radio because of the content suggesting insinuating that there was some love making happening some knocking of the boots man um so to find out it was banned on certain radio stations that was the shocker to me because oh my goodness uh where are we at today with the music you know what i mean that is uh light extremely light in comparison to some of the stuff that we hear today man uh so let's go ahead and dive into this one everly brothers bye bye love and uh, see what we're getting right here man thank you guys for tuning in with me here today if you guys enjoy the content i produce on a daily basis please don't forget to like subscribe and check out the description subscribing is free descriptions have great ways you can support the channel if you want to and let's go ahead and check this one out man here we go I'm gonna cry Bye bye love Bye bye sweet caress Hello emptiness I feel like I could die Bye bye my love Goodbye There goes my baby With someone new She sure looks happy I sure am blue you gotta see she that. was my baby till he stepped in. Goodbye from romance that might have been. Bye bye love, bye bye happiness. Hello loneliness, I think I'm gonna cry. I'm through with romance. I'm through with love. All the way. I'm through with counting the stars above. And here's the reason that I'm so free. My loving baby is through with me. Man, I like the stuff they sing about, but the way it's written too, it's so good. Like, I don't know, man, just rhyming uh, the things that they're rhyming at this point in their bye bye happiness, hello loneliness, right? Uh, bye bye sweet caress, hello emptiness. Um, just the way they rhyme it up, I really like the way the songs are written and the way they sing them. Uh, the harmony is still just always tapping into that, like understanding how influential and groundbreaking that kind of was to hear these brothers sing side by side and harmonize with each other, man. Uh, it's got a nice little bop to it, but of course we've got that material. It made me think he's talking about seeing his ex-lover with their new lover and how happy they look together and oh my gosh, he could just die right now. The How terrible he feels and how blue he feels, man. I realize hearing this song, how I've dodged a bullet my entire life, right? I look at uh, past relationships and at least I didn't ever have to experience that feeling of seeing somebody you used to care for with 
their new partner. I I must have dodged bullets, and now I've been with my wife for so long um, that, of course, I'm happy <laughs> that we're here where we are. And um, man, I just feel for anyone that's had to be in these situations because, my gosh, uh, what a number that has to do on the heart, man. Um, and I'm just fortunate, like, wow, I guess I dodged bullets throughout my life, man, uh, in prior situations where i didn't have to experience that thank goodness i guess i have to count my stars man but let's go ahead and learn a little bit about this one with the everly brothers bye bye love man all right so you got bye bye love right here with the everly brothers released in 1957 man uh the songwriters on this is felice and uh bold bolu bryant maybe that's how you pronounce that um so bye bye love is a popular song written uh, by the Bryants and published in 1957. It is the best known in a debut recorded by the Everly Brothers issued by Cadence Records as a catalog number 1315. The song reached number two on the Billboard Pop Charts and number one on the Cashbox uh, best-selling record charts, man. So this thing went high, was quite a hit, even got a Grammy in the Hall of Fame for this one. George Harrison reinterpreted it for his 1974 album Dark Horse, changing the words to reference his wife Patty Boyd, leaving him for his friend Eric Clapton. Oh my goodness. Bye Bye Love has also been covered by Simon and Garfunkel. Very good, notable, I mean, super popular, super amazing artists that are covering this one from the Everly Brothers. But man, George Harrison, my man, holy. Um, ah, dude, I feel I feel for this situation. But like I said, I've um, heard about it before. Uh, multiple times and it seems like george handled it very well but this one kind of paints a different side of it to me uh having him do this song in response to that bye bye love oh my gosh man um george harrison i believe him and uh eric clapton remained friends after it was all said and done but man i feel for george man uh, the guitar intro was not originally part of the song but was something that don everly had come up with and was tacked on uh, to the beginning chet atkins was the lead guitar player on the session seriously i keep hearing about chet atkins i've yet to react to anything from chet atkins but of course i know his connection with mark knopfler i believe i saw his name on another song that we had done here recently um and then you've got him right here playing with the everly's like dude chet atkins um almost sounding like an unsung hero of the times man uh his name is not a name i was familiar with prior to reactions on this channel i first became familiar with him through uh understanding that mark knopfler was uh inspired by his guitar works uh but just seeing his name constantly pop up man it seems like he's really an unsung hero of the times man floyd chance was on the upright bass and buddy Harmon was the drummer on this one man yeah so that's what we got with this one uh, genre on this one consider rockabilly country rock and roll man i thought it was a very nice song to listen to heartbreaking to understand what uh people have had to go through for sure man and you got to count your blessings when you haven't experienced some of the pains in life that others have man you got to count your blessings man uh so i'm doing that today for sure um going on right down here i just want to see this it says george harrison's version in 1974 george harrison recorded bye bye love for his album dark horse as well as inserting a comma in the song title uh, harrison wrote additional lyrics and radically different melody line arthur chris ingram uh describes harrison's version as a recompose in a minor key and featuring a pointedly uh customized lyrics okay and the lyrics go on to say down here there goes our lady with a you know who i hope she's happy old clapper too we had good rhythm and a little slide till she stepped in uh did me a favor i threw them both out well that's a heavy line man but i i think he did believe that line did me a favor because like i said it seems like um it, from the things that I've read, that he wasn't too bothered after all about the situation. He got moved on pretty quickly from it. So, so kudos to him. Kudos to him, man. Well, thank you guys for being here with me today. I really appreciate you guys spending some of your time with me, man. Thank you so much. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed watching me react to some uh, Everly Brothers today, man. Let me know if there's more from the Everly Brothers that you guys are dying to see me get into. I'd appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. Don't forget, guys, if you guys enjoy the content I put out on a daily basis, please consider becoming a member here on my YouTube or Patreon, man. It's an amazing way to support me and give back if you guys enjoy the content I put out, man. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out that description. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you on the next one, man. Peace.